Tony, what are you doing? Shh, they can't see me. I hate to break it to you, but I can see you, so they must be able to see no, you. You're missing the point. They can't see me. But I can see you. Oh, they can't see you seeing me. In fact, they can't see me seeing you seeing me. Okay, I'm gonna go call a medic. Oh, no, Enid, <laughs> I'm just playing with you. I'm just showing you an example of recursion. Oh, recursion. Yeah. Oh, okay, I was getting a little worried. But I thought recursion was only in mathematics. Yeah, it is in mathematics, but it's also all around us. And it can uh, give you some pretty strange results at times. Obviously. <laughs> no, but seriously, recursion is in just about everything. It's in literature, art, music, nature, and games, as well as math. I've never thought of it that way. I've only ever heard of the Fibonacci sequence. Ah, a classic. Look, let me show you. Okay, so. The Fibonacci sequence, you start with the first two numbers, and it defines each successive number to be the sum of the previous two numbers. Mm -hmm. Let me show you, okay. So you got one plus one equals two. Right. See? And the next number would be two plus one mm -hmm. is three, and then after that, three plus two is five. Yeah, exactly, and it just keeps going. Eight. And eight plus five is 13. Right, well, Thir this could go on forever, but you <laughs> yeah. said there were examples in nature? Ah, yes, nature. Okay, let me show you my favorite example. Okay. Da 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 da! Bee ancestry. What? No way! No yeah, way. Look, check it out. Now, this is pretty interesting because you can have a female honeybee that has two parents, right? But a male honeybee only has one parent. So the sequence is one male, one female parent, two grandparents, yeah. and one two. Exactly. <laughs> and then you can take it back a whole other generation as well. So you can have uh, a male, right, with one parent, a female with two parents, three grandparents. Okay, so let me do the next one. Mm -hmm. The two females both have two parents. And then one male with one parent is five grandparents. That's the Fibonacci sequence. That's right. <laughs> one, one, two, three, five. Oh. That's it. Yeah. You got it. Look, check this out. So, here, if we take a square and we put it right in the middle, okay. okay, and the square has a side of one unit. Now, if you take another square and put that right next to it, these squares, they represent the first two numbers in the Fibonacci sequence. Mm. Now, to get the next number, what you have to do is you take a square of two units and you place it right above that. Now, this represents the third number in the Fibonacci sequence, which is two. Exactly. Now, what you do is if you continue placing squares in the Fibonacci pattern, and they grow each time, so three units mm -hmm. and five units. Well, that's so cool, and each time they make a new rectangle. Yeah. And if you draw a line through the corners in a circular pattern, you get a spiral. You get a spiral. Okay. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? So, language, nature, mm -hmm. art, but what about music and games? Well, these are recursive sequences, okay? We're not always talking about the Fibonacci sequence, so things can act a little bit differently. How? Well, things will start to repeat themselves. So let's take one and one again, but instead of adding, let's subtract, okay? Okay, so we'll just erase this. So, to start, we'll start with one and one, right? But we will do one minus one equals zero, right? Zero minus one is negative one. Mm -hmm. Negative one minus zero is negative one. Negative one minus negative one is zero. Zero minus negative one is one, and one minus zero is one. Exactly. And you just end up where you started. How? Oh. Yeah. And you can get the same thing in games as well. You ever play paper, rock, scissors? The hand game? Yeah, the but hand game. How is that like a sequence? Okay, so I'll count it off, all right? You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. One, two, three. Ah, a rock beats scissors. Got me. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Ah, paper beats rock. All right, last one. One, two, three. Ah, scissors beats paper. One. Okay, so let me guess. Rock beats scissors, 
scissors beats paper, paper beats rock, rock beats scissors, scissors beat paper, paper, and it keeps repeating. I've never thought of it that way. On and on and on. And in music, there's a sound called a shepherd tone. Now, a shepherd tone is a varying sequence of three notes played whole octaves apart, and it's played like a chord at varying loudnesses. Now, the effect of this is it seems like it never changes pitch, never gets higher and lower, and it never ends. It just goes on and on and on. Oh, sounds odd. I like it. Huh, cool. But you know what? Recursive sequences are a little bit strange. And when you peel them back, no matter what, you just get simple mathematics. I do see. And now I've got a trick up my sleeve. Oh, all right, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna make it so that no one can see you. 